I think the impact of generative AI on procurement is absolutely huge. And the reason for that is that procurement is all about data, right? We need to get data from the suppliers, uh, we need to get data on our purchases, etc. And the problem with data and a scale of thousands of suppliers is that it just takes human manpower to deal with that. What generative AI allows us to do is really to tackle that data at scale. It allows us to deal with the very messy data formats that we're used to dealing with in procurement, humans to human, but doing it at scale through technology. One of the things that procurement is struggling with is that it's still not as digitalized as it could be. So instead of answering this question with a specific innovation, I think the biggest potential here is to move further on the digitization journey than we already are. You know, getting data away from manual surveys, digit, uh, kind of paper formats, etc., and getting it into technology, not old school ERP system, but user-friendly systems that are actually going to be adopted uh, by procurement. I think that's the biggest potential. We talked a lot about generative AI in the event today, which was super exciting. I think what's interesting is that there's a lot of curiosity across procurement departments today, but there's also a lot of misunderstandings with what generative AI is. And we have this tendency to take a hammer and then look for nails to hit with that hammer. And we think that we can use AI to solve everything, right? But reality is that it's a tool and for some use cases, it works very, very well. And we can get 10x better and then we can use human beings to actually get better. So I think that's still a misconception that we need to solve that.